Hardware startup Nod Labs has raised $13.5 million in Series A funding to market the second addition to its ring controller family, the Nod Backspin. While there have been other gesture-controlled rings that have gone before, this is the first one to come with a joystick for gaming. We met up with one of Nod Labs' co-founders, Anoush Alangavan, in the TC studios to check it out. So you have some news, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. What am I looking at here? Uh, this is the Nod ring, uh -huh. and um, it, it's something okay. that you could oh, use I just on, put your it like this. Yeah, on your index finger. Okay. Uh, and you could use it to control games um, on a VR headset or to control drones. Okay, so how does it work? Can I can I put this on? Can I start playing with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put this on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and oh yes. <laughs> okay, and then do you have the right. ring? And you have the Here's ring. the ring, okay. And right now, you, you see a gun? Oh, yes. Yeah, and then you fire with pressing this button up here. Yeah. Okay. And you move, and you look around, you'll see the bunnies, and then Wait. I'll tell you how you can move around the scene. Okay, I don't see my hand. Where's my hand? Right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. and then that's fire. Okay. And this is move forward. Uh huh. Uh, and if you want to move backward, you press this button right here. I look like a big idiot right now, don't I? <laughs> I can tell. Okay. But are you firing? Yes, yes. I am, Good. but I'm not. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're sneaky. And then yeah, they I'm keep moving coming forward. Towards you. Yeah. What and happens if they get me? Do they get me? Actually, this this demo version, they don't do anything to you. You have like superpowers. Oh, I just like shot that guy. I'll also show you a way to. <laughs> They're coming faster. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just knocking them out instead. You can do that too, and you can shoot gangster style if you Whoa. want. Whoa! Yeah. Um, let me show you how to switch gestures. Too. Yes. So if you point, so um, you see a hand. There we go. If, yes. If you do that, you get uh -huh. a different weapon. Oh yeah, that's Not, like yeah, bam. gangster. Style. Oh yeah, gangster style. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. It takes a second to kind of get uh, used to how to move your your arm around because your where your arm is here isn't necessarily where it is in the game. All right, so that was fun. Uh, all right, what's next? There's cool. got we've got this little this guy here. What is yeah. this? So this is uh, this is the backspin and uh, so the Nord backspin. So it's essentially something um, based off of this, uh -huh. and it just. Uh, Provides you the ability to move forward. So this is for like different. This is for different games. It's, on this. Yeah, it's for the same game. But uh -huh. remember, you were pressing a button to move yeah. forward. Here, it actually gives you motion. Okay. Right? So so it gives you like analog um, uh, tactile feedback. So this is sort of like the next iteration in gaming. Exactly. With so VR. It's, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's focused on gaming. There's no mm -hmm. other controller that's this small, which mm -hmm. provides you hand tracking mm -hmm. and the ability to run uh, traditional games. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So you can just be like laying back and playing a game. Exactly. You don't have to look at a screen. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's cool. Um, and we have another demo here with uh, the um, with the drone. Uh, drone. Yes. And Let's so see how this yes. works. So we're gonna set it up. Um, we can actually set it up here. Okay. It... Wait. So how did you? A button to press uh -huh. to go up. Uh -huh. Right. And now, if I want to go higher, I do that. Oh, lower. And then higher. higher. Right. And I can I can map that anyway. And you can try it too. Yeah. Okay. And and how do you go forward? This is turn. Uh huh. Yeah. And then turn. And if you want to move forward, you touch this button. I don't want it to hit me though. Yeah. So you do that. Okay. And how do you move forward again? Um, so you touch this, and oh, that's backwards. And yeah, there we go. It's coming forward. And okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And when you want to land it, you just touch the. Yeah. So touch. You have to touch the button when you move it. Ah, okay. Uh, that's landing, yeah. You're landing it. I'm landing it. So, okay, okay. So, just two buttons to press. Yeah, there we are. You got it. <laughs> I have the uh, power. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll, yeah, there we are. <laughs> you have to touch it and do that. Okay. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. So, essentially, there's just like two or three controls that you need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. One button, it takes off. One button, it lands, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one gives you altitude. Mm -hmm. And this one rotates in place. Right? Okay. And then a second one moves you forward or backward. What is this technology based on? So it's all um, um, inertial sensors mm -hmm. in here. So we have about 70 different components that go in here that tracks human motion very accurately. Mm -hmm. It's a very hard problem to solve because human motion is very erratic and it's not predictable. Um, so what we do is we try to make sense of it and communicate human intent very accurately. Mm. What are some other applications besides uh, fun toys right. for this kind of technology. Right. So, so these are um, um, you know first use cases that attract people's attention when you control a drone by just moving your uh, hand. 
Uh, but there are practical implications from IoT, like controlling your lights or thermostats, things like that, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, so it would really be like the one ring to rule them all. Like you would be turning on and off your lights with... Right. Okay. So in our app, the we have... The copper for the modern age. Exactly. Okay. 50 years later, right? So Okay, so where can people get this and how much does it cost? Yeah. So uh, it, it goes on sale today and it's available um, at Nord.com, our website, mm -hmm. uh, and it'll get into retail stores in the next few months. It costs about $99. Uh-huh. Okay. So just one ring, yeah. 99 and then how much is this one? Uh, so the backspin, uh, both of them are Innovator Editions and this one is um, 149 Okay. And then how much for the VR headset? Uh, the VR headset isn't something that we manufacture, but um, I so think... So any, would it work with any VR headset? Exactly. That's one of the beauties of it. Where so you we can work put in. like the Google Cardboard, 30 exactly. bucks, 20 bucks, and then use one of these. Exactly. You got yourself a little VR gaming. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Exactly. Yeah.